You have been um, on, on top of this Chinese situation. I think before really any prominent um, American executive, your big worry is that they're taking us to the cleaners, huh? Well, you have to understand, Neil, I know China, I know many of the people in China, I know many of the big business people, and they're laughing at us. They think we're so stupid, and our representatives are so stupid that they can't even believe what they're getting away with. They take our money, they suck it out of us, we charge them virtually no tax and no tax, and then they loan it back to us. And then they have our treasury bills, and they say, oh, gee, we, we have to be afraid of China because they have our treasury bills. It's ridiculous. And... You know, again, the problem with our country is we don't manufacture anything anymore. I mean, very, very little. China's doing all. I just bid furniture out on a major project I'm doing, and I have six bids. Every, every bit of furniture is being made from China. The one from America is more expensive because of all the other problems that have been caused by us. So, you know, if well, we— Why wouldn't you give—even though it's expensive, why wouldn't you give the American company the, the job? I did. You did? Okay. Yeah, I have to right. tell you, I did. Because you know what? They actually make a much better product. I mean, the product is 100% better. The, the product, the stuff that's been sent over from China, is it falls apart after a year and a half. It's crap. But I'm, one, <laughs> I'm wondering, uh, I always forget how frank you are. Um, but, uh, Tom, I wonder what... It's more fun that way, right? It is indeed. Um, uh, but I'm wondering what the Chinese must be saying even privately to uh, American politicians who worry that they might uh, pull out their support of buying T-bills and treasuries and the stuff that finances our debt. Already now, uh, China has been retrenching a little bit. I think Japan is the country that now owns most of this stuff. Uh, so maybe they're, they're threatening to make good on that. Neil, we have all the power. Because if we ever say we're going to tax you 50 percent for all of the things that you sell to this country, you could pay off your treasury bill in a short period of time. And by the way, guess what would happen? People would start making things in North Carolina and Alabama and Illinois and lots of other places where they're all unemployed. So we have all the power. And the day that happens, the Chinese stop working and we put our people to work. It's crazy. I mean, between OPEC and China, this country can never be great again because OPEC just keeps lifting the price of oil as we get better. And then ultimately, because I have a theory that OPEC really caused a lot of the problem that we had a year and a half ago because the oil price went to $150. And when that was up at $150, that's when you had – and not enough people gave credit for the oil price causing the problems. You know, they talk about mortgage. They say, and I'm, I'm not, not blaming those other things, but a big factor was our blood, and the blood was oil. So well, between, well, OPEC, me... between OPEC and China, every time we do something – I mean, we're working in order to keep – China, Chinese people working. What about our people? What about the people well, in this country? What about our companies that generally don't heed this sort of get tough advice? I mean, maybe with the exception of Google, that, that risk leaving and maybe still risk leaving the entire country. Most don't do that. Most the thing is, we don't need Chinese products, okay? We need oil, unfortunately, because there's so many alternatives now that pretty soon maybe that can change if we're smart. But we don't need Chinese products. And frankly, so if you they've taken Geithner, advantage so Let's say you're with Tim Geithner and, and his Chinese counterpart, and you're talking man to man there. What would you do if you were Tim? First thing I'd do is you better start worrying about your currency, because what you're doing is with this cheap currency, you know what, what's happening with us, okay? So number one, and they are manipulators, there's no question about it, just the way they manipulate in the Olympics with their 13-year-old kids that weren't supposed to be there, just like on their anthem sung by somebody that wasn't singing, if you remember that That's right. mess. That's right. Not about that. Uh, you know, I mean, I deal with these people. I deal with this country so much, and I could tell you so many different things. They are laughing at our country. Now, what we should do is tax the Chinese, but tax them big. And their products that come in, you won't have any treasuries. You, you have a country with tremendous we'll, – we'll put our people back to work. And instead of letting all of this blood flow out of our country, you'll be putting our people back to work. We don't need Chinese products. We don't need them to make the toys for our children. We can make them right here.